Yeah, if Glasgow didn't have the old firm, let's be honest, it'd be hardly known throughout the world. It's a pilgrimage to paradise, and that's why we're known all over the world, because we're not just any other football fans, and we create an atmosphere in there that we're known all over the world for. We are the club, we are Scotland, we are Scottish football. End of story. Everyone just Celtic, everybody knows the old firm game, everyone knows the importance of it, the history of it. I think if you asked any football fan, name five derbies, Rangers against Celtic, it's going to be right up there. Rangers were formed for four young lads from the Church of Scotland, they just wanted to have a football team. Well, Celtic Football Club, as I say, is born of famine and oppression. When the Irish people, during the Great Hunger, came to settle in Glasgow, this was the hub for the Irish community. And it, it's a hub for Irish people all over the world. You see a Celtic shirt, it's, it's a Celtic family. Being Irish and supporting Celtic, it's just, it's just something that fills your heart with pride. And through the through the generations, it's kind of it's fostered and it's they've grown to hate each other even more. And I think with the the last four years where there's been a bit of a gap, the the hatred, but it's the same fans. So I think the hatred's got a wee bit worse. Somehow, in strange way, you get you get also affected. When I played uh, for Rangers, I never bought something green. When you wear a Celtic shirt, you're not just supporting a football team. You're supporting a community. You're supporting a cause. It's, it's more than just football, it's who we are, it's in our blood, it's in our DNA. Probably one of the most unique atmospheres in the world because there's so many different things that feed into it. It's not just two teams that are going for the title, there's, there's history, there's politics, there's religion, there's the two teams also being huge in Glasgow. There's so many factors that make it a really unique concoction, if you like. Not really the old firm anymore. <laughs> Obviously they're back from the dead, but I would say the biggest game in world football without a doubt. They're not the same club, their history is false. MK Dons and AFC Wimbledon don't claim the same legitimacy, but these guys, the Rangers, the Sevco do. Having, having four games back in the Premiership and having four old firm games to look forward to is certainly a massive boost for the game, for the clubs. I'll tell you how important it is for Rangers to break in the top league. Celtic have qualified for the Champions League this year. They are charging £33 to watch Lionel Messi. They are now charging £49 to watch Kenny Muller. That says it all to me. What I missed, I missed the buzz. I missed getting one over on them, but they didn't deserve to just to walk back into the league, you know, they cheated, they died. There is a different feel about this one, uh, a different feel about the city as well, because everybody knows how important it is and everybody's saying it's great to have this game back. There's a lot of animosity between both the fans and even the players. When you've got 50,000 fans cheering you on and egging you on, that sometimes the red mist will come over and it's 90 minutes to let everything go that you hate about the other team. It's one of these things, you need, you need to be there, you need to be in the atmosphere to appreciate it. Rangers are the best club, they're the best stadium, they're the best fans. We're the best at everything, they, they can't, there's not one thing that they're better than us, well, apart from building statues, they're good at that. If you're um, lucky enough to be in the winning side, it takes about a week to get a smile off your face for a kick-off. Beating Rangers, it eclipses anything you feel, it just it takes over. And the club is in our blood, it's in our hearts, it means everything to us, and to get a result, which we will, <laughs> is, you know, it's going to be everything.